Ness? Ah? Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me! Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear wa water running in the distance. Please, Ness, please help me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, hey guys, this is Perry Guy 88, and welcome to Let's Play Earthbound. This is episode 14. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yeah. Last episode, we didn't really do much. All we did was went to the store and um. That, that's about it. Not much else. Uh, hey Ness, how did you sleep last night? Oh, what you were dreaming about, Paula again? <laughs> Man, Ness, didn't I just tell you to lay off the cold pizza? It just does things to you, man. I could, I'll tell you. Nah, you don't want to hear it, it's boring. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do this episode is we're going to find out a lot more about Paula, because everyone's keep mentioning her. So we might as well see if we can find her. Whoa, who's that? B -b -b Paula! Where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of cat uh, pie! Oh, you, if you're wondering who that is, that's actually Paula's dad. You see, uh, before, before the episode started, we went over to the Polestar preschool and met up with him and realized that Paula wasn't there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that pretty much uh, says the obvious that Paula is not here right now. But we're going to just establish that, of course, because this doesn't know that very well. So let's just go there anyway and investigate. Yeah! Oh, there, there he is. Uh, we talked to you, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Blah, 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 we know. B -b -b Baller not home yet. Ever dreaded burglar bought my new something? Oh, boy. Now I'm really worried. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Paula's dad. We'll save your daughter. Because me and Ness, we got this. We got this. All right, well, let's go in here. Paula is like a mother to me. She may not be able to, you might, you might not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon? Okay, there's something wrong with this kid, I just know it. When I'm a grown up, I want to be just like Paula. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Yeah, we know there. Whoa, hey, hey, there you go. Whistle, whistle everywhere. Makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guy in nature, it seems. Oh, I hope we're not getting close to religious territory here. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Let, hey, let's go. So let's go upstairs, and here's Paula's room. Ness just enjoys me uh, evading people's rooms because he doesn't care about authority. Oh, we opened this box already. And what it contains is another teddy bear, so you can get one for free if you want. That we bought two because, well, Ness just feels like it, yeah! He may be 13 years old, but he still likes his teddy bear. Okay, I probably should not have said that out loud. I'm embarrassing Ness a little bit. Who cares, right? Yeah! You're too awesome to be embarrassed, Ness! Yeah! Anyway, let's focus. Okay, we're gonna go to Burglar Park this episode and check out what they got there. Yeah, let's go over here, Ness. Burglar Park. Oh yeah, make sure you're fully healed, by the way. If you're gonna do this part of what I'm gonna do, make sure you're fully healed. The boss of Burglar Park is Everdred. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Ah, I see. Can't wait to meet him. Everdred always w watch over Burglar Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crook crooked cops. Yeah, there are a lot of crooked cops here in this game. <laughs> okay, anyway. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiments make a dish taste better, while the wrong ones make it taste worse. If the condiments match the food, you will get more power than if you eat it pl uh, food on plain. Yeah, I already explained all that before. Kind of, yeah, I did. Hello, would you like Seasy to add to your food at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, Seasy will sparkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets of jars. Oh, what would you like? Yeah, we're not interested in anything. Come again. Whoa, you look familiar. Of course, Everdread isn't a good person. But he's actually quite warm I will cry, boss, foo! Ah, uh, you must be the trim brother of Mr. Q. So you must be Mr. R. Yeah, that's it, Mr. R. <laughs> anyway, I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this 
beautiful, beautiful egg, please. Uh, sure. You're concerned about your health, even though you're young. That'll be 12 big ones. Okay, why not? Okay, here you are. One egg to go. Yeah, uh, there's an interesting trick here. You see, if you wait a little while, then the egg's gonna hatch into a chicken. And then you can sell a chicken for $98, I believe, yeah? Okay, it's a fast way to get money. It, see, it makes me feel good to just sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tool shop full sale side. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. Yeah, we don't care. I'll speak of that. Let's talk to you. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale side that sits in front of me. It was only $98. Please buy it. Oh, we're going to buy this later. I bet you'll regret not buying it. Oh, don't worry. We're going to come and buy it uh, very soon. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies that all them, but in my opinion, it makes it ta taste even better. Ew, no it doesn't. What would you like? Now that you told me that, I don't want anything now. You can have your fly-infested food. Earthbound, where things don't make sense. Would you like some bananas? Hey kid, do you want to buy some? No, we're not interested. Well, when you want to eat bananas, I'm here, selling them. Yeah, well, we're not gonna interested. We're not interested. Hey, why don't you buy World's Greatest Ruler? No! Do you think it's hot? Look, I didn't steal it. I don't care. We don't want a useless ruler. Ugh. Hey, Mom, you gotta stand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some macho. Uh, what do you have there? Who'd you like, Mom? And uh, not uh, anything of interest except for the copper bracelet. We're gonna definitely buy that. A little later, but not right now. Is there anything else you need, Mom? <laughs> no. A scientific mom might be able to get good use of this here thing. But we don't have one, so yeah. Whoa, who's that guy on the roof there, Ness? Uh, do we want to approach him? Okay, yes we do. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> Why don't we chat later after we lock horns? Uh, is this guy okay? Why is he gonna fight us all of a sudden? Anyway, this is Everdread, of course. Uh, he, there's something special about him. He doesn't drop anything when you beat him, and... Just be careful that he can steal your food, by the way. So, watch out for that. Other than that, you, can, you should just use your psychic powers to beat him quickly. Or if you... Or to be hardcore, you could just bash him, of course, but, uh, Ness doesn't really feel like it, so he's gonna use the power of rocket roll! I, I mean, PSI rocket, to, uh, defeat Everdread easily. There you go. Yeah, d yeah, uh, maybe next time you should not do that. <laughs> Wanna fight Ness, or, or as kid with psychic powers, it's not smart. Alright, yes! Level 12, yeah! Look at all that! Oh baby, yeah! Oh right, oh baby, yes! Vitality went up by two. That's awesome, and guess what? Yes! We get a big HP increase. Wow, that's a really good level up. And even better, he learns psychic uh shield alpha where we could be able to have attacks cut in half. Yeah. Yes, I'm ever dread. Boss of Berglin Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost it, definitely. We'll change that. Yeah. <laughs> They, even then, you still wouldn't beat us. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. Oh, you know something? Mm-hmm. And she went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in blue outfit that kidnapped her, though. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might not be gone already. You mean dead, right? Uh, yeah, but we're not supposed to say it in this game. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, you'd better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. How's he saying this when he's in his house? Uh, Earthbound, everyone, where things don't make sense. I have to say that at least twice per episode because it's so true. Anyway, uh, there's a couple more things we gotta do left in Tootsun, and then we're finally done and we can move on. Uh, but first, we're gonna need a money, though, so let's go back to, uh, the department store and get out at least, like, uh, $700. I think maybe we could get a little bit more, uh, but, yeah, uh, we'll just start with $700 for now. Maybe next episode I'll get a more exact account, and what is this chirping noise? Ugh! Oh, yeah, that's right, see? The egg catches to a chick. And by the, which, by the way, can also help with Ness's, uh, homesickness status. But, okay, yeah, this is really starting to get annoying, Ness. <laughs> okay. With the bird chirping and all. 
So let's start out with $700. We'll probably get out a little bit more later. I guess that's the disadvantage of the whole, uh, buy eggs, wait till the chick returns into a chick, and then you can get about $98 per chick plaid because of this annoying chirping sound. Ugh! But Ness likes it. It sort of soothes him. Yeah, it is kind of soothing when you think about it. Anyway, we're gonna go to see Orange Kid. Because I think he's going, Whoa! Look at this house! Wow, it's all orange! Man, next time I paint the walls in my house, it's gonna be orange. Yeah! Anyway, that's the end of episode 14. Uh, yeah, he's gonna greet us, but we're done here. That's the end of episode 14. Stay tuned for episode 15 when we go talk to Orange Kid and have him help us. Alright, this is Bear Guy 8 and I'll see you guys later.